All right, let's, uh, let's do some more dynamics problems here. Um, this is in the category of, uh, of area times velocity is uh, a volume flow rate, right? So this is volume, that's time, that's area, that's velocity, right? And the idea is that if we've got a pipe and we've got uh, a fluid flowing down the pipe at some velocity, that that volume flow rate is the area of this times the velocity. And the reason why that is, is that, of course, that, uh, what, I guess if you're, if you think of a cylinder here, right, the, the volume of that cylinder is simply um, the area of the end of the cylinder times the, times the uh, length here, right? And, of course, the velocity is just length divided by time, right? So this would be area times length divided by time. This is area times length divided by time. Right? It's the same thing. That's what we're saying here. Okay, so um, uh, we've got this two-inch pipe, right, 5.08 centimeter diameter pipe. Uh, water's flowing 20.3 uh, meters per second. That's a good clip, right? Um, and then uh, how, how much will it fill the classroom, right? Okay, so uh, I'm going to do the uh, area times the velocity is uh, pi times, uh, I guess, point zero five zero eight divided by 2 squared. So that's pi r squared, right? Okay, um, times the velocity, which is 20.3. And this will give us our volume flow rate, right? All right, here we go. Uh, pi times 0 0.0508 divided by 2 squared times 20.3. So that is an impressive 0 0.0041140. 0 and that's cubic meters per second, right? And that's, remember, cubic meters is a huge amount, right? So that's actually 41 liters per second. It's a fair amount, right? That's <laughs> coming in there, right? Um, and then, of course, now we've got the classroom. And the classroom is, is some uh, thing like this. And then we could talk about a height. We want to know the depth of it. And, of course, the, the volume of this rectangular solid is just simply going to be uh, 12 by 35 by whatever the depth is, right? Okay. Um, and then it's, uh, let's see, an hour. That's 3,600 seconds, right? Okay. And so uh, the amount, the volume that is going to be, is going to be 0 0.04114 cubic meters per second times 36 seconds, 3,600 seconds. So I'm going to multiply the answer on my calculator by 3,600. And I got 148.12 cubic meters. Wow. Right? And then, of course, this now equals 148.12 cubic meters. And now I can just solve for D. So I'm going to divide the answer on my calculator by 12, and then also divide by 35. And I get that the depth is 0.35266 meters. Yeah, that's only 35 centimeters of water. Wow, isn't that amazing? That would be 48 cu 148 cubic meters, right? Anyway, there you go.